is the dive that we had planned yeah. for yesterday, but unfortunately the weather caught up with us and we were unable to put the ROV in the water. Um, so very thankful to be able to do that today yeah, on our final time. benthic dive of this research cruise. So this is Retriever Seamount. This lies uh, within the Northeast Canyons and Seamounts National Marine Monument. Um, Retriever has been What's visited that? a number of times yeah. before, but this will in fact be the shallowest dive uh, that has been performed on Retriever Seamount. So today we are aiming for a northern pinnacle, right at the very top of the seamount. You can just see that as oh, Shannon uh, drives around there. We're going to start today's dive at 1,940 meters and hopefully come up to the top of that feature about 1,820 yeah, meters. Yeah. Previous so dives on Retriever have shown by. really high density Sorry. communities I'm of trying. corals and sponges. <laughs> um, and so we're pretty excited <laughs> oh, for this dive today, yeah, especially at the like slightly little, shallower depths. And we're hoping to see mount. much of the same. Yeah. My goodness, this coral, this black coral is enormous. Could we have some lasers, please, Pilot? No problem. Thank you. It's a, a telopathies. Yeah. I've never seen one that big before. So I can't even see the lasers. Where are they? Yeah, we'll get a zoom in just a second. There they are. So if you look and see two red dots, these are harmless lasers. They're spaced 10 centimeters apart. And they help us uh, get a sense of scale of things that are living on the seafloor. And you can see the scale of this massive telopathies. I mean, this is at least a meter and a half, if not more. <laughs> gorgeous. That's a Absolutely big colony. Absolutely gorgeous. And you hear me call it black coral, but of course this coral that we're looking at is orange. Uh, I haven't gone crazy. It does in fact have a black coral skeleton, and that's where the black corals get their name from. And their skeleton, which wow. is very dark, that's deep, amazing. jet black. You can just about see those two laser scales in the middle there, 10 centimeters. I, this must be one of the largest black corals I think I've ever seen. Absolutely beautiful. Curious how big the base is. Yeah, and Scott France is mentioning that, you know, this, this uh, particular telopathies does get large, but it may be the largest one that he has ever seen as well. Look at the size of that. I mean, look at base. it, like next to D2. You can see in the middle there an uh, empty branch that's covered in uh, what looks yeah, like barnacles. Really if once we do a sweep uh, here, stable. we'll maybe have a, a couple of quick zooms in. Just beautiful. Zoom out. No, you can have a uh, video can zoom in on your camera too, on you. Yeah. Watch the, would you like a particular zoom on anything? The base, perhaps? Uh, the base would be good. Could we zoom in on the white um, associates kind of in the middle, which sure. might get, get us a view of the polyps at the same time? We'll start with Thank that. you. Come on in, video. Video can open. Oh. Just beautiful. Right. He, he can uh, zoom right after this yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, these look like little barnacles that are growing. Barnacles are crustaceans. Um, when they settle as larvae, they actually settled. stick their settled. heads onto, onto uh, sticks, so they're actually uh, okay. head yeah, down and butt up. And they're uh, sticking their legs out, so those uh, features that you can see there that kind of fan are actually their legs, their feeding legs, and they're also capturing particles out of the water column too, so they like to be 
up into the water column and have attached to this uh, this part of the skeleton that's missing its polyps. And you can really see the black there as well. That's the black skeleton that black corals get their name out of. So another feature of the black corals that always uh, at least keeps my eye, you know, makes me confirm that it's a black coral, these big, long, drippy tentacles. And you can see that they have these long, drippy tentacles here being moved in the current. Just beautiful. That's fantastic. Thank you, Pilot. It'd be great to look at the base. A little bit of heave on Sirius today. Might get sick if I watch that too much. Oof. Trying to adjust with the uh, tilt. Can we come on out? But yeah, I'm going to acquire the base and we'll go for a zoom. We're still partial, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think you're my very autos, close. My auto's <laughs> drifted in a little bit. So back up just a little bit. Look at the size. If you look at live stream number two right now, you can see that we've uh, crept in close to get a really good view of this uh, this amazing black coral, this telopathies that we're looking at. Super clear. Yep. Minips, minips, and the rails. So I'm going to scoot over just a little more here. Oh, Scott France with a nice fun fact here. This species was described in 2013, and one of the paratype specimens, one of the specimens that was used to identify, to describe the species, actually came from Retriever Seamount okay. at, a, at a deeper depth. This will hopefully get, this will hopefully get a good view on it. And it'd be good to get those lasers on the base if we can. Yeah, that. Oh, a great view out of Sirius right now. If you look on live stream number All two, right, yeah. just how large this coral is compared to the 11 foot high uh, D2. Come on for the base. Come on for the base. Look at that base. It's really stretched out and swept all over this, uh, this rock here. And even taken over a part of another coral colony that's grown on it down below. Beautiful. And there are the lasers on that base. So those lasers, again, are there 10 centimeters apart. They're harmless lasers used to help us uh, identify the size of different seafloor features and organisms living on the seafloor. Really beautiful. One of the interesting things I'm seeing here on the whole Video, test is that you can see that it can serious. put up, I think, new, um, new stocks. That's, I think that's what I'm interpreting. It's either new stalks or it's grown over something. Yeah, it's hard to know which of those two it is. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yep. That's why you heard a bit of hesitation in my voice there. <laughs> they yeah. wanna, do I really want to say this? <laughs> that's great. Thank you so much, pilots. That's Absolutely. wonderful. Yep. Absolutely stunning. What a great find in the last uh, 10 minutes of this dive. <laughs> that was Telopathy's Magna. And you can really see where the name Magna comes from.